In this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up a blog on your WordPress site with the Tesseract theme. Now, this is really simple, but you want to make sure you do it right. And you want to get a blog page like this that has other articles here. Um, you could import a bunch of stuff, which I may do in this video just to show you what it looks like. But you want a blog page, and then within the blog page, you have these blog posts. I posted a different... Um, video out there that shows how to do blog categories as well. I'm not going to get into that in this video. Um, you could look at it on our other video, but in this one, I'm going to show you how to create the blog itself just like this. So all the posts come on the blog and people could go in and navigate through your blog. I'm also going to show you some other stuff like how to change these colors around and how to change your uh, blog layout as well. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that you are logged into WordPress, of course. And what I like to do is I like to make sure that I have my permalink set up correctly to do this correctly. <laughs> um, so go to uh, settings and then go to permalinks right here. And what this will do is it will make sure that your, your name, which we're going to call it blog, so people could go to your URL, www.whatever.com forward slash blog, and it's not going to be some numbers or weird stuff like that. So make sure to click on this post name right here. This is really important right there. Then click Save Changes once you're done with that. All right, so do that first. The second thing is we're going to make the blog page, and all you have to do is just go to the pages. This is the second thing you're going to need to do. Just go to the pages and add a new page and call it blog. It's really that simple. Watch this. So let's do this. Call it blog. And I'm going to make it full width. You don't need to do anything else. Don't go to the page builder. Don't do anything else. Just do that. It should say your domain name forward slash blog. Or if you're doing it like me and have a, another subdirectory, it would say that forward slash blog. And that's how it looks press publish okay once you're done doing that now we're going to jump on over to the good old customize area right here so go to uh, appearance and click on customize so click on that and go into this customize area and we're going to go into general right here so next click general and then click static front page and you probably set up your home page so when people go to your .com or whatever you have, they see this, um, whatever homepage you pick. Well, it's the same thing with the post page. It's, it, uh, WordPress is basically essentially asking you, where would you like us to put your blogs on? Where would you like us to put our code of the blog format on? And you're saying, I would like it to be on this blog page right there. Okay. And presto, you're going to see it show up just like this on the blog page. Go ahead and press press save right there. And um, you could also do a couple more settings if you want to on this to change the colors and whatnot. So if you want to hop on over to this customized area, you could just go to layout options and you could go to blog post options. And we give you a whole array. This is only in the Tesseract theme that we do this. We actually spent a lot of time and effort doing this. So really go through this and figure out how you want to lay out your blog post and how you want to lay out your blog page. And there is a ton of stuff here to go through. So I'm just going to quickly go through it with you just to show you all your options here. First thing you're going to see is you're going to see to choose article, a content type. If you want just the title only to show up, you could do that. And then that will show up. If you want just the full content without the read more, that's fine. You could still click on it and it'll go to the blog. Um, or you want the whole thing with the read more. That's that. The next one is choose show or hide title. So you could actually hide the title if you wanted to. I like to actually show my titles. Um, choose a layout type for the blog post. Okay, so you want to choose the layout type. So this is left sidebar. So you notice it's on the left. But what if you wanted it, you know, on the right? I don't know. Um, you could do that as well. Or you don't want it there at all. And you just want it full width just like this. So that's an option as well. 
um, display post featured images on blog. So if you featured an image here on this on this one, so let me hop on over. I'm going to right click and go to new tab. So I'm going to go to this blog post, and you could um, when you edit this post right here, you could add an image. So let me actually go into WordPress right here, and let me add an image. Go to the post. And I'm going to add an image to this post. And you'll see that when you add an image to this post down here, featured image, it you could choose to show it or not show it. Now, I don't have any really good images, so let me hop into my computer and find a better image. But I couldn't find one, so I'm just going to go ahead and choose this image here from Pickabay. And I'm going to download it really quickly so I could show you. So let me do that real fast here. All right, so I got that picture downloaded to my uh my desktop and I'm gonna go on over back to editing this so I'm gonna upload a, an image to this area here so go to my downloads there it is upload it just so I could show you after you upload an image to one of your posts now you could go ahead and let me refresh this here reload now I could go back in to this customized area and I could show this. So let me go to blog first. So you always want to just go to your blog and you could see that that now showed up right there. Now I could go to customize and I could opt out on showing that right here, if that makes any sense. So let's go back over to the layout options, blog post options, and it will say display a featured image, yes or no and you have that option to not display it or to display that featured image. So that's why I went through that whole thing of adding an image to that uh, post so you could show to show it or not show it. Sometimes you want to show a lot of it and you don't even want read more. You just want this right here. You want to just remove some of this other stuff, you know, as well. So it's really up to you. It gives you a lot of options there. So, um, but then there's other options here. You can have your featured image positioned above, below the title. Um, I'm not going to really get into that, but that will show you that how that could go above, below, right, left, um, and so on. So you could really just mess around with that to your heart's to desire. Um, show or hide dates. Sometimes it's cool just not show dates if you're not doing a lot of posts and stuff. And you don't want people to really see that. Uh, show or hide author so I could get rid of this author right there um, I could show or hide comments. Let's say you only have one comment and you really, you know, are kind of embarrassed It's only people one comment. Well, then you could hide that comment as well um, Post title uh, color you, you could change it to whatever color you want to kind of match your site notice I just had it now blue um, so that's extremely cool you could change read more to whatever you want. Um, sometimes people even put these little arrows to indicate, hey, click on me. Um, read more text if you wanted that text itself to be, I don't know, red or something. I like white because it stands out better. Um, and then the re and then the button, of course, you could change it to like whatever color you want, black to me, match the black here. So. Um, Going down, uh, you could see that you could make this a smaller button or a larger button or just right there in the mi middle. Um, or if you just want no button at all, you want to show like text or something like that, you could. Now, you're not seeing the text because it's white, on um, pretty much white. Um, so you would want to change that to that color if you wanted to do that. If you do like the button itself, then just highlight that and it'll come back there. Um, the other thing is there's rounded corners. Uh, we set it seven, the nice proximity of what people like, but you could, if you really wanted it more round, you could set it like 20 and it'll really make it round. If you are really bold and daring, you could, um, I think the, the limits like around 20 or 30 and stuff like that, but put it like 10 or seven is probably good. And then you could also choose what, what side you want this on when See how it goes right, left, center, just like that. It just made it to the right if you wanted it there. Um, so lots of options to uh, to give you. 
And that's pretty much it. That's how to set up your blog. Now, if you want it up here on the navigation, I would recommend you doing that. Just hop on over inside of the customize, go to your navigation area, and go to the menu. We have a whole video on menus and how to set this up. But you want to probably just add this to your menu so you could always jump back over to this. And, uh, and then, you know, have fun with your blog. Go back on it and check it out and post away. And, you know, blogs are amazing. They really are. All right, let us know how you're doing with your blog. And if you have any questions, we are here to help.